Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day and that you watch this video till the very end. Deliberately concealing the fact that Gay is dating a man? Is this his idea or yours? No matter what it is, I have no reason to go back anymore. Come on, you don't need to be so picky. Have another egg. But I'm already full. Using the same excuse every single time ain't gonna work. You must still have some occasionally nourishments. Your occasional is every second after we make it out. I'm almost having five eggs a week. Can you, like, restrain yourself a little bit? Alright then, I won't force you. You don't have to be mad. You're sweet talking too much. It's not gonna work on me anymore. Now that we are done with breakfast, should you be realizing your promise yesterday already? I wasn't planning to go back on my words anyway. You like to copy my words so much, huh? Cut the crap and get straight to the point. How should I start? Should I say that Zowli has been blackmailing me for her own benefits? And that she's been pestering me to force me to go back to the Chan family? And even threaten that she's gonna hurt you? Chan Mo? Why are you in a trance? Are you feeling unwell? I'm fine. Do you still remember Zowli? Wait. Isn't that Chiamo's biological mother that is even more vicious than a stepmother? What about her? Did she bother you again? Yeah. Hey, why are you laughing? Why are you still smiling so happily after getting bullied? Seeing that you're so angry and eagerly wanting to stand up for me, of course I'm happy. With this love you're giving me, why should I feel sad because of other people? Well, I guess it's not wrong for you to think like that. What did you say exactly? Tell me about it. I'm going to give you all my weaknesses. Will you expect all of me? My dear little painter. Do you seriously think that you need to ask about that? Of course I'm willing. You already said that you're mine. In that case, it is only natural that everything of you is for me and me only. All right, as you wish. That's too much. How could you be so selfish? You don't have to be angry. Having listened to so many bad things, I'll tell you a good one. Uncle Chanyan will be coming back soon. Is that kid gonna come too? That's kinda hard to say. He's already done with kids now. Maybe he's coming back because he wants to escape from all that responsibility. Is it really nice for you to talk about your uncle like that? It's not like he can hear me. Oh, by the way, that kid now has a name. His name's Easy. Huh? I thought he'll follow your uncle's surname. He didn't really adopt the boy. If the boy takes his surnames, things will get nasty if the Chan family learns about it. I intend to help Uncle Chan Yan to become the family's matriarch. Only when that person loses his precious status will Zoli stop thinking about her ridiculous fantasy. Will you be in danger if you do that? Another thing. Why will your uncle agree to cooperate with you? I thought he'd prefer to spend his days in leisure. 
I think you better not think about these complicated things with that tiny little brain of yours. It can easily get jammed. In fact, I can't figure out his thoughts either. But in the end, we'll both get what we want, and that's all that matters. Looks like he's already decided on it. In that case, I can only do my best to support him. About Jing Bowen, I think I can manage it my- About the rumors he spread on social media? Your fans have already cleared everything for you, so you don't have to worry about that. My fan? It is that girl who witnessed my proposal at the airport. She contacted me and told me that she has a video. So, she posted the video? Yes, I authorized her. Isn't that a little too embarrassing? How can you agree to that? This car? Kongyun. Why are you purposely distancing yourself from me? What have I done wrong? I'm not that kind of person that will pester around someone. Even if I know that gay is together with a man, I'll not have any vain hopes. After all, my chance has already slipped by since a long time ago. So are you blaming me for hiding it from you? As Gay's friend, you did what is right. It is I who's too petty. You get someone else to take care of Gavin. Gavin has already decided on you. He will not agree for me to get somebody else. The same goes to me. But I don't. Don't be so certain about that. It is my fault that you're upset, but you have to give me a chance for makeup for it, right? Should I flip the table and reject him right now? I'll take it as a yes if you're not gonna answer. You're heading out, right? Where do you want to go? I'll give you a lift. The graveyard. Today is my mother's death anniversary. No wonder he's wearing all black. If I didn't ask, he'll definitely choose to be upset about it all by himself. Let's go. I'll go with you. All right. Hi, my name's Hu Yu. I'm Kang Yun's friend. At the same time, I'm wooing him. Hu, Hu, rest assured, my family knows that I'm into men since a very long time ago. They will not make things difficult for the person I like. If Kang Yu is willing to accept me, we can even have a grand wedding. Just like normal people do. So, are you willing to stay at my place and become Gavin's second father? Is this Gavin's fish? It is his, but more of mine. But I'm not suitable. For so many years, I have been running away and restraining myself to not face the hostility of the people around me. Now... I already lost the courage to love someone, and I have long forgotten how to love someone. You, you and Gavin deserve it better. Stop muttering to yourself. You don't hate me, right? So you're just not confident about yourself. Let's make an experiment. Let's go on a date for two months. Let's try it if you fall for me. Hmm? A temporary couple? How did you respond to that? Did he agree? Look at his smug face. Is that even a question? <laughs> this is what I call the surprise move. Yun actually agreed. Then he must have feelings for you too, you. 
He's rarely direct when it comes to relationship. If he isn't interested, he'll just turn you down without hesitation. Yep, I've experienced that too. If I hadn't witnessed him rejecting somebody so mercilessly, I wouldn't have waited so long to put my cards on the table. Anyway, the you and I know in the past... We'll never agree to play an ambitious game such as being a temporarily couple. This means that you're really special to him. Go for it, you. He's rooting for me. With these words from you, I'm even confident that I can take him down. When it is done, you'll be the first person that I'll treat to a meal. Okay. All right, that's enough. Back to the main issue. To you, your case chief editor. Evaluate the impact of these public opinions online on him. Well, I only did say a few extra words, but look at that jealous face of yours. How sour. Stop fooling around. Public opinion on the internet is basically under control, but after all, Gay is used to drawing shonen manga in the past, so the loss of male fans is basically unquestionable. Hmm, but don't be sad either. That proposal video of yours has got a ton of fans. This'll be really helpful for your future, pure love genre comics. Do you mean that a lot of people have seen that video? Somebody even wrote a weird fanfic about us. Should we have a look at it when we get back? Why would I ever want to look at such a thing? It's all your fault. I've had enough of these dudes PDA. When I take down Kung Yoon, I'll return it to them in multiples. You caught a cold, Mr. Xiang? A little, I guess. I'll go buy a mask downstairs. That's okay. Daddy said that there were masks in the med kit. And flu medicine, too. I'll go get it for you. Wait, that's your daddy's room. I can't just... It's fine. Daddy said that you could go anywhere around the house. All right. I think the med box is in the highest cabinet. Do you see it? I can see it. I'll take it. This woman looks exactly like Gavin. No. It should be that Gavin looks exactly like her. Mr. Shang, what are you looking at? Nothing. I got the wrong thing. She's... Chu Yu's ex-wife. You? New Year's Eve is in a few days. Are you sure you're not gonna go home? I'm pretty busy lately. Besides, Dad is always angry when he looks at me. I guess I'll not piss him off this new year. It's because you're not married yet. You're almost 30, by the way. It's not like we're forcing you to marry a girl. If you want to marry into somebody else's family, do you think that we'll not pay you dowry? Hey, who rushes your own brother like you? Dad and Mom don't know. Aren't you clear about that? Gavin must have leaked something to you before. Oh, but I haven't even met him. Who knows if it's just a cover-up? Unless... You let me meet him. No, 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 not yet. I'm just a temporary boyfriend who hasn't even finished trial period. How can I present him to my family straightforward? Huh? Half of the winter break has already gone by. Have you not tackled him yet? I think you misunderstand me. He's kind of shy. You'll scare him with that temper of yours. Not gonna talk to you anymore. I bet he's already prepared dinner at home and is waiting for me now.
He's trying so hard to worry him. I want to see what kind of man can make you so infatuated. I'm back. Dinner's on the table. Go and eat with Gavin. Where are you going? Are you not going to have dinner together with us? Leave me alone. I have flu. Don't just catch it from me. So are you going to the hospital? I'll go with you. It's not that serious. I just want to go back and sleep at my own place. That's more of a reason to not let you leave. The weather's gloomy out there. It'll definitely pour later. Then, I guess I'll stay. Last time in Gavin asked you to stay, he said that it wasn't appropriate. But now they were dating each other? Spending a night at your lover's house is absolutely reasonable, isn't it? Yeah. Follow me. Is it really okay to go on like this? Maybe it isn't too late to give up now.